just this last week, we, were, we received outreach from an IRS whistleblower requesting the committee look into concerns uh, the individual has about allegations of misconduct. So can you commit that there will be no retal retaliation against that whistleblower? I can say without any hesitation, there will be no retaliation for anyone making a, uh, an allegation or a call to a whistle whistleblower hotline. Now, in the words of Maury Povich, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Now, just two and a half weeks after the IRS commissioner claimed no whistleblower would ever be punished, the attorney, for one, said his entire team had been removed from the Hunter Biden investigation. Now, this is the same whistleblower, by the way, who alleged nearly a month ago that the probe was being mishandled by the Biden administration. Now, his attorney says the whistleblower was informed the of, of the removal was at the request of the Department of Justice. Joining me now, House Ways and Means Committee Chair Jason Smith. Congressman, wonderful to see you tonight. What are you going to do about this? You know, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I said I was going to run the Ways and Means Committee different, and that Ways and Means has always not been known as an oversight committee. Um, my first week, we set up the whistleblower hotline. Should be an oversight so, committee, absolutely. Absolutely. And so for any IRS employee, could contact us as the Committee of Jurisdiction for Congressional Oversight, could let us know of anything we need to look at. And we've gotten some whistleblowers. And that's why I asked the IRS commissioner just less than three weeks ago if there would be any retaliation for the, the, the whistleblowers that's coming forward. And he said, absolutely not. Well, yesterday I received a letter from the counsel of one of the whistleblower blowers, whistleblowers that said that he was removed off of this high-profile case along with other individuals of his team. And it was done by the Justice Department. So we sent him a letter this afternoon. We sent a letter to the IRS commissioner asking, to, asking us to give us the information. There's only two things. Either he's not telling the truth before sworn testimony before Congress or to someone higher up directed him to do this. Well, a few weeks ago, the attorney for the IRS whistleblower responded to a statement from Hunter Biden's attorney accusing the whistleblower of committing a crime to harm Hunter. Watch this. It's really unfortunate that that statement was made. My client wrestled with whether or not to come forward. He had a lot of sleepless nights about coming forward with this. At the end of the day, he decided that he could not live with himself if he stayed quiet and said nothing. So he's coming forward, but he knows that he's going to be attacked. And, you know, really, attacks like this are kind of what he was worried about. Your reaction to that, Congressman? The, law, the laws that we have are to protect whistleblowers, not for whistleblowers to be fearful of retaliation. If people are fe fearful of retaliation, they're never going to come forward. That's the problem. Well, isn't, haven't Democrats, uh, you know, during the whole Vindman thing and... That, that, that's sacrosanct for them, or we thought. This is terrible. Correct? This is absolutely terrible. Um, the fact that you're seeing an individual that uh, did not want to come public, but just saw misconduct at the IRS and felt like that it needed to get to a higher source, they should be allowed to do that. That's what oversight is all about. This is this is um, why a lot of people fear the IRS, for example. The IRS is the most feared agency. They're fearful of weaponization. Well, they have full resources of the federal government. They have unlimited resources, and if they want, pretty much unlimited staff. And, Correct? Uh, after the $80 billion that they got and the 87,000 new agents they're well, trying to hire? power of the purse, Congressman. Power of the purse. You guys have it. That's House why the Mains has it. That's why we put it in the, the Limit, Save, Grow Act with the debt limit to repeal it. We've done two pieces of legislation. we got to continue to chip away. Keep, keep doing it. We're watching this closely. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.